preferred party for various issues. Now, the question that was asked is, in your opinion, which one of these parties is A, more corrupt, Congress 35% respondents, BJP 59% respondents said BJP is more corrupt, only 3% said JDS is more corrupt. More nepotistic, 30% said Congress is more nepotistic, 59% said BJP is more nepotistic, 8% said JDS is more nepotistic. More faction ridden, 30% said Congress is more faction ridden, 55% said BJP is more faction ridden, 12% said JDS is more faction ridden. Best for Karnataka's development, 47% said Congress. 37% to the BJP and 14% to JDS. Maintaining religious harmony, 49% to the Congress, 34% to the BJP and 14% to the JDS. Protecting Karnataka's interests in the border dispute with Maharashtra, 40% for Congress, 40% for BJP and only 14% for the regional party. That's the first big set of numbers we're throwing at you this evening and these numbers to a political observer in Karnataka are extremely important, Vishnu, Absolutely. because the Vokaliga vote, and I'm going to take it point by point, the first point, the Vokaliga vote being divided between the Congress and the JDS, much has been spoken, Sanjay, about the BJP Congress battle. This is a revelation into the Vok JDS Congress battle in the old Mysore region. How significant do you think this number is? I think, Vira, you have already, the, your statement already has a reply hidden in that. Because the contest in Karnataka at this moment seems to be between BJP and Congress, so all those voters who don't want, want to vote for BJP seems to be uniting in favor of Congress and that seems to be happening with regard to the Vokaliga vote. Vokaliga vote used to go to JDS in a slightly bigger proportion if we look at the earlier election. At the moment, 10 days before election, remember this is a survey which has been conducted 10, day, 10 days before the polling. At this moment, it seems that the Boca Liga vote is divided. Still, JD has an, uh, JDS has an edge, but a sizable number of them intends to vote for Congress. And 